Okay, so welcome to uh, this final video on uh, the degree of a field extension and the tower law. Okay, so in this video I just want to firstly include a very natural extension of the tower law and then also give you an example of the power of the tower law. Okay, so remember the tower law says that if we have um, a, a field K and then we have this field contained within a bigger field L, which is then contained in a bigger field M, then basically the degree of the field extension of M over K is equal to the degree of the field extension of M over L, okay, multiplied by the degree of the field extension of L over K. Now the first extension to this is that if you now add in another field, and I'll draw this separately, if you now have a chain of four fields, and of course you can make this arbitrarily larger basically, okay, but doing it for four will illustrate the, purpose, uh, the point. Okay, so if you now have a chain of four fields, then you can generalize the tower law basically. So let's say we want to find the degree of the field extension of m over f and what we have is the degree of uh, the field extension of m over l, the degree of the field extension of l over k, and the degree of the field extension k over f, then the obvious and natural generalization is that it should be the three multiplied together, and this has a very elegant, simple uh, derivation. Okay, so basically what you can do is just cover up this l here. Just imagine it's not there. Okay, and now we're back to this case because we've just got three fields. We've got a field down here, which is contained within a bigger field, which is contained within a bigger field yet. Okay, so just imagine that that L is not there, and then use the tower law. We can say that this is equal to M over the next field down, which is K, because remember we're imagining L is not there, okay, times uh, K over F, okay. Right, and now, uh, now imagine that L is back again, and now forget that F is there, okay, and again, we're back to this scenario again, so we can now write M over K is equal to M o the degree of M over L times the degree of L over K, so we can now substitute this um, into here, basically, so we can now write this as the degree of M over L times the degree of L over K, times the degree of k over f. And of course you can generalize this. You can have huge great chains of fields and you can then generalize this quite simply. Okay, so that's how you can take this further uh, with this very simple argument then. Okay, now let's have an example of the power of this. So let's say I have a field extension L over k and the degree of this field extension is some prime number. So to give you an example, let's say it's 7. Then my question is, can there exist a field, let's call it uh, F, that sits in between these, i.e. a field that is strictly bigger than K, okay, but smaller than L, okay, so it contains K and it's bigger than K, but it's smaller than L and it's contained within L. Can there exist such a field? Well, of course, the answer is no, because if there did exist a field, then it would have to be true that the degree of L over K was equal to the degree of L over this smaller field F times the degree of F over K. Now, there cannot possibly exist uh, two numbers that you can have in here that will multiply together to make that prime number, basically. Okay, the only numbers that can be multiplied together to make a prime number are 1 and the prime number itself. Okay, and that would contradict this field being strictly bigger than K or, or uh, strictly smaller than L, basically. So, if you've got a field extension that has degree prime, uh, then uh, basically there can exist no there exists no field uh, that is strictly in between the two fields basically so there's no field that is strictly containing K uh, but is strictly contained within L okay uh, so that's a very powerful uh, theorem that you can get very simply from the power uh, the tower rule. <laughs> 
Okay, so that now concludes our discussion of the degree of a field extension and the tower law.